Hi friends, I thought I would just do a little short video clip on something that happened to me today on the way home from my downtown trip to breakfast and so forth. And uh, it has something to do with a possible robbery. So I'm gonna tell you about it as soon as I come back. Hey. Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. So I went downtown today and had some breakfast and did a little walking around and did some video work and on the, took the train via and came back home. I stopped at my normal Matthews and uh, bagels and bakery shop and had a cup of coffee and a scone. And I decided that I would do a little short video uh, from my GoPro on my way back to the apartment and coming up through the river and I was approached by a kid on the walkway and I think he wanted to take something from me. So you can watch the video here and see what you think. What happens here is the kid, uh, very suspicious looking to me. I mean, I, I, I kind of, I just had a, a gut feeling and I got all the right vibes that he was up to no good and he noticed my GoPro camera and here's what happened. Get away. Get away. Gracias, señor. So do you think I was about to get robbed? Who knows? I don't know. Um, you know, it's like, this is the second time that I've had a situation similar to this since I've been in Ecuador. The first time was in Monta, and I was on the beach, and a kid approached me, or I, I, I came up on this kid, and he looked suspicious to me because he definitely didn't even look like he was dressed to go to the beach. He turned around and started following me, and I, as soon as I noticed that he was following me, I stopped and basically just made eye contact with him and that was pretty much the end of it. He went on and who knows what was gonna happen, I don't know. I had somebody, some uh, anal pour from uh, one of the Facebook groups here uh, chimed in and made a bunch of sarcastic comments about uh, what a tough guy I was and I really showed him some poor kid, you know, just out for a walk and that person no longer gets to see my channel, but anyway, and I'm sure that somebody will have something to say about this incident here today. The guy in the pickup truck looked to me like a cop. I don't know if he was. He had some kind of a nimlin on his shirt, his jacket that he had on. But I think he basically saved the day for me because you can see him in the right side of the screen as I'm approaching. He pulls up and he's in a fairly new pickup truck. And he, as soon as you hear that horn honking, that's the guy in the pickup truck. And he's hollering at this punk who's now behind me. I don't know, it, you can see in the video, it looked like the kid was reaching for something in his shoe or under his pants leg, or maybe he's just scratching his leg for, I don't know. Maybe he's reaching for a knife, I, who knows. It was a very suspicious situation, it was very uncomfortable. I didn't like it. I don't like walking in that part of the trail because there's beggars down there and I don't know what this guy was gonna do He's noticed my camera. He said something camera. He spoke in Spanish, but he said something camera. And I thought, oh, this guy wants my camera. The guy honking the horn basically made this kid turn around and go the opposite direction. And he ran off the other way. And the last time I looked, he was, he was just, he wasn't running, but he was definitely doing a pretty steady clip. But anyway, so I don't know. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. People always ask me about crime here. That There's been some reports lately that crime is on the rise here in Cuenca. 
I read the Cuenca High Life uh, online newspaper uh, every day. It comes from my mailbox, and I'm seeing reports that there there is some some uprising crime, but I don't you you know. I put a link into an article uh, that I read this morning about the crime here in Cuenca, and you can I put it in the description, and you can go and read it and make up your own mind about whether you think crime is a problem here in Cuenca. To me, I just I still get a good feeling being here, and I don't really feel any fear of being here. I probably take more chances than I should. I don't know. I don't. Uh, but I, I, I've not really been scared yet. But this little incident here today was enough to get my attention. Uh, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm like six feet, six one, 230 pounds. And I think that th th when the kids noticed that I was not going to run from him, and I told him to get away, get away, he, he stopped. You know. But that's when he was reaching for his legs. He's reaching for his. He's standing on one leg and had his other leg hiked up. And I thought he was reaching for something in his in his pants legs or under his leg, who knows. You can look at this video and think what you want to think and let me know in the comment section below what you think, okay? So, another glorious day from Cuenca, Ecuador. Never a dull moment. Thanks for watching.